Although the planets in our solar system and beyond boast many similarities, they're also quite different in a number of ways. Regardless of how lifeless a planet may seem, this hasn't stopped us from looking into what they have to provide, especially with the planets in our solar system. But what about Jupiter specifically? Well, this is what current data and research suggests. So, is Jupiter habitable? Our research on Jupiter only goes so far, but from what we've gathered over the years, the planet Jupiter doesn't seem to be habitable. This is primarily due to the fact that Jupiter is a gas giant comprised of hydrogen, helium and other gases. So let us continue to explore why Jupiter can't support life. Well, in a nutshell, Jupiter just doesn't have the simplest building blocks to support life, as it doesn't offer a water source or even a solid surface. Other factors, such as the immense atmospheric pressure and harsh weather conditions, add to the reality that life just can't exist on the planet. Scientists don't really have sample data that they can test against these findings, but based on what's required for life to exist on Earth, it's evident that Jupiter isn't very friendly to living organisms. It's known that there's a special layer in the top of Jupiter's clouds that could harbour free-floating organisms, but other aspects, such as atmospheric pressure, as we've previously discussed, would make survival quite difficult. This has led to many questions on what life forms may be able to exist on the planet that we simply just don't know anything about. But at this point, there are plenty of theories as to what could be possible on Jupiter. But terraforming and supporting human life wouldn't be one of them. And let's now take a closer look at why this is the case. Firstly, the freezing temperatures. Jupiter has an average temperature of minus 234 degrees Fahrenheit, and although humankind may be able to create technology to withstand such temperatures, existing day to day on the planet is essentially impossible. Being a gas planet also means that there's no water or even physical land, so humans are pretty much out of luck on these fronts. And then there are the conditions. The planet's convection continuously manipulates multiple areas of the atmosphere. So even if an organism found an area to survive, it would eventually be thrown into conditions that would lead to its end. All of the different characteristics of Jupiter lead to a clear understanding that it isn't very hospitable towards life, as is the case with many gas planets. This doesn't mean the planet hasn't ever harboured life in the past, and there's always the chance it could develop life in the future. Now these possibilities would have to be millions or even billions of years in the making, as scientists currently don't have any data on this possibility in the planet's past, present or future. Jupiter could end up proving us wrong, or a celestial event could occur that would change the base characteristics of what the planet is made of, but this isn't something we would see in our lifetime. So this naturally leads to the question, what conditions would Jupiter need to have to be habitable? Well, the conditions that Jupiter would need to have to be habitable would be an atmosphere that consists of oxygen, carbon, nitrogen and hydrogen, and of course, in a very specific ratio. To expand on this further, Jupiter would need water, the air, as I've just alluded to, would need to be breathable, and of course, there would need to be land. So aside from the basics, the planet would need a complete overhaul of how its atmosphere functions, as gravity, atmospheric pressure and weather conditions are extremely harsh. So there may be living organisms out in the universe that are able to withstand such conditions, but humans aren't one of them. That's what makes Earth so perfect. It's because it has everything we need to thrive, which just doesn't exist anywhere else in our solar system. So essentially, Jupiter would have to transform almost entirely to be able to support human life. And the fact that it's a gas giant pretty much takes it off the table as an option for terraforming. So we aren't likely to explore existence on Jupiter based on our current knowledge, at least. Now, it's possible that humans might experiment with other life forms on the planet for research purposes, but Jupiter isn't a good prospect for humanity's travels. And as far as we know, Jupiter's physical and atmospheric conditions have remained the same since its existence, which makes it doubtful that it's ever going to change, or at least any time soon. 
What's interesting about scientists is that even though Jupiter is clearly a harsh planet for humans to explore, they're still going to try and do it anyway. And there will likely be a time in the future when humans are sent to explore Jupiter. However, it just isn't very feasible to dive into this planet head first. And regardless of how much we know about it, the planet is bound to harbour many unknowns that um, will come to surprise us too. It would be a dream if Jupiter had everything we needed to exist freely on the planet. And if this was the case, we would probably be finding a way to visit it as fast as possible. But unfortunately, the closest Earth-like planet is roughly 4.2 light years away. There's clearly a lot more research that needs to be done on Jupiter, but there aren't many people questioning the fact that the planet isn't habitable. You could also argue that it might be feasible for humans to bring the building blocks of life to the planet, but this is a task that is not only a log logistical nightmare, but technological feeble at this point. Of course, as we progress over the years, we may find ways to make certain planets habitable simply by introducing the core resources it needs to host life. Nevertheless, this is a pipe dream with the current state of our technology, resource, resources and overall research. And you're probably wondering, has Jupiter ever been habitable? Well, to the knowledge that we currently have, Jupiter has never been a habitable planet. This is due to its base characteristics, as the planet is a gas giant with no body of water or solid surface, as we've already discussed. So when you look at the extreme atmospheric pressure, temperatures and overall harsh environment, we won't be seeing life from Ju form on Jupiter anytime soon. Then again, it's not like we have a time machine and can physically look into the past. We have many ways of generating scientific data on the past based on the data we have in the present, but there's always the chance that this could be entirely wrong. And the universe has a way of constantly surprising us at every turn, and our solar system's past could look a lot different than what we expect. But, based on our extensive data on Jupiter, it is highly unlikely that the planet was ever hab hab habitable. Its atmospheric conditions may vary like any other planet, but not so much to the point where habitation becomes a feasible concept. The mysterious and daunting nature of gas planets such as Jupiter still strikes a chord with scientists, as many are eager for the chance to explore further. And this may continue to be a distant thought, as we just don't have the capabilities of visiting Jupiter without facing a, a catastrophic outcome. Of course, we've sent satellites out past Jupiter, which has provided an amazing amount of data, but we haven't found anything that leads us to believe that the planet was ever habitable. Information like this can make us feel pretty alone here on Earth, but that should also make us feel extremely grateful in the same vein. Jupiter may not be habitable from numerous angles, but this won't stop human exploration of the planet, at least as far as we can try. If there's ever the possibility of creating life on the planet, humans will eventually try to find a way. And outside of the planet itself, many experts have also considered the possibility of habitation on one of the many moons that surround Jupiter. And this leads us to the next question. Are any of Jupiter's moons habitable? Well, Jupiter has 80 known moons, a majority of which don't show any promise to be habitable, except for one. Over the last few years, NASA has been exploring a moon around Jupiter called Europa, which may have the elements needed for life to exist and NASA wants to place a robotic spacecraft in the or orbit of Europa to start gathering detailed data on what it has to offer. Europa was actually discovered back in 1610, and it's since been a topic of conversations among scientists and astronomers ever since. It's an icy moon that's believed to host an ocean underneath its surface. This alone is quite promising for the potential of life existing, but more data needs to be collected to determine if the moon is habitable or not. Currently, the Europa Clipper spacecraft is planned for launch in October of 2024, and it's guaranteed to generate new findings that will amaze us all. Although Europa may not be currently habitable at this time, scientists are going to find out if it has the elements needed for life to exist in the future. As always, there's the possibility that life or microorganisms may already exist on the moon, but this is still a mystery at this time. Scientists strongly believe that Europa could harbour the elements needed to support life. And if the data that the Europa Clipper collects proves this, 
Experts believe it will be followed up by a mission to land a spacecraft on the moon. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please do hit the like button and do consider subscribing to my channel. If you head over to my channel, you will see plenty of other videos just like this. And you can also hit the bell button to be notified of when I release new videos. And if you want to learn more about astronomy or any other topics related to it, then do consider visiting my website, astronomyscope.com.